Hi guys, welcome to Handy and Easy. Today, we're in the bathroom, and as you can see here, my toilet water tank is not filling anymore. It can also be that uh, you hear your toilet uh, running the entire time, and you're wasting a lot of water. Considering that, uh, that the shut-off valve is open and you have appropriate water pressure, the problem is most likely with this part that is called a fill valve. In order to solve this issue, you can either replace the entire fill valve assembly or just do some simple troubleshooting that will be effective in most of the times and you will save uh, some money and also help the environment by reducing the amount of waste generated. In this video, uh, we'll talk about uh, this troubleshooting. So let's get started. Before starting any work, make sure that you turn the toilet valve off by turning it clockwise. Mine is just a quarter turn valve, but it is uh, probable that you, you must turn it several times clockwise for it to close. In most cases, there's a problem with the top section of the fill valve. You can either have one of two scenarios. In the first scenario, a mineral buildup is uh, preventing the water from coming in and, and filling up your tank. In the second scenario, the seal that is inside this mechanism has gone bad and it's uh, not stopping the water from coming in. So you will hear your toilet uh, running all the time and you will be wasting a lot of water. For both scenarios, we'll have to remove this top section. The first step will be to remove uh, this plastic rod uh, from this arm uh, so that we can have uh, more space and it's easier for us to perform the repair. Uh, so we'll have to push, just to push it uh, like outside and it will be uh, disconnected. Don't be afraid uh, to use some force. Now we'll remove the top section. In order to do this, we'll grab with our right hand uh, this section and we will turn with our left hand uh, counterclockwise uh, the top section, like this. For solving the first scenario in which we have a mineral buildup, uh, make sure that this area is uh, clean and then place a water cup over the fill valve. Now we'll slowly open the water shut off valve to remove uh, all that buildup. And we'll do it for 10 seconds. Now we'll shut off the valve and it's ready. Now, if you have the second scenario in which this seal has gone bad, we'll just have to replace it. Uh, for, for doing this, we'll just uh, remove it. Just use your fingernails and it comes out uh, easily. Like this. Now we'll replace the old seal uh, with a new one. I bought this uh, Fluid Master valve seal in Amazon for just over one dollar. So it's very cheap and I'm leaving a link in the description below if you are interested. Now we will install the seal on the valve. Just make sure that the hole is aligned uh, with this uh, metallic rod. Like this. And just uh, push it in and make sure it's snug. Now, after having solved for either scenario one or two, we'll have to install the top section back again. Uh, just place it uh, over the fill valve like this, uh, turn it until it gets seated, and then turn the assembly uh, clockwise until uh, it snaps on. You will feel it. There. I don't know if you could hear it, but it snapped on. If you're having trouble snapping the top section, 
Remember that you can always grab with your right hand uh, this uh, bottom section so that it's easier for you to turn it uh, clockwise. Finally, we'll be reconnecting the plastic rod back into place. Uh, just push it in the direction of, of the fill valve and make sure that the grooves are aligned, like this. Now, turn your water shutoff valve under the toilet back on and hopefully everything will work fine. So as you can see and hear, the water uh, fill valve is working perfectly. So if you arrived at this point, you did it. You repaired your toilet. Congratulations. As a final note, it is recommended that the water level stands at half an inch from the top section of the overflow pipe. If you need to adjust the water level, you can do it easily by turning this knob uh, clockwise to increase the water level or counterclockwise to decrease it. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Handy and Easy, and as always, have an excellent day.